orthopedic tests that I do here in the office when I suspect that a patient might have carpal tunnel. So these are actually tests that you can do at home mostly by yourself or if you have someone to help you for one or two, one or two of them that'll help too. So the first test is called the Phalen's test. So what I'm gonna have the patient do here and Sabri is gonna show us is she's gonna put her wrists together like this and just let your elbows drop down a little bit. And she's gonna maintain this position for a minute. So what we're looking for with this position is that it's gonna reproduce symptoms in the wrist and the hand, usually in this area. So hold it for a full minute. We're not gonna have her do that here just for time's sake, but that's test number one. So the second test is called reverse Phalen's test, which is very similar, but you're gonna put your hands together like this, and then you're gonna bring them down towards your feet here. And it's the same with this test. We wanna hold it for a minute. And what this is really gonna do is it's gonna stretch this ligament and create a specific position in the wrist that if it is carpal tunnel syndrome will usually reproduce symptom. So another minute here and then looking, does it reproduce those symptoms? Mostly in the thumb, the palm part of the hand, and then the pointer, middle, and the inside of the ring finger. Um, the next one I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take Sabrina's wrist here, and let's just say she has symptoms in her right hand. So I'm gonna just do what's called Tenel's test. So this is the third one, and I'm going to use a reflex hammer and just tap right over these carpal bones. She has a little reflex that you can see with the jerk, but that's not really what we're looking for. We're just looking for, does this cause pain through here and these fingers in here? And it's usually gonna be on this side, but sometimes we will get some, especially in the pointer ring and inside, the pointer middle and the inside of this ring on the back side of the hand too. The next one I'm gonna do is with her palm up here, and this is just called median nerve compression test. So this is number four, and you can do this at home actually on yourself. We're just gonna take some pressure, we're gonna go right over this median nerve, and we're gonna hold that there for roughly 30 seconds. So what that does is it just collapses this carpal tunnel a little bit, it presses that ligament over the median nerve, and because of that, again, we'll get symptoms in the same area. So let's move on to the last one. And this is the one that you'll probably need the most help. So just grab a friend or a family member and they can do this on you at home. So Sabri, I'm gonna have you lay on your back. So she's just gonna lay down. You can do this on a bed or a couch or whatever you want. I'm gonna go ahead and just set her arm on my knee. We're gonna grab our hand here. I just wanna support the shoulder. So note that the palm is gonna be facing away from her head. The fingers are gonna be straight up like this. And what we wanna do is we want to move the arm into this position. So a little external rotation and then extension of the wrist and the fingers down this way. So here we're looking again for the same signs. Does it give you burning, tingling, pain, numbness, weird feelings in your wrist or hand? If it doesn't, the last thing I can do, Sabria, is tilt your head towards me. So just moving the head to the same side as the arm. And so those are five tests. If you have any of these that are positive, then I'm going to be thinking it could definitely be carpal tunnel. And there's a lot of stuff we can do for treatment on carpal tunnel, like exercises, which I'll show in another video. Um, and then we'll go from there. And usually carpal tunnel syndrome responds really well to conservative care. So it's always the best thing to try that first. If you have any more questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and like and subscribe. Thanks. Thank you.